What's going on, everybody? Today is another episode of Delver of Secrets, and we've got a boatload of Phyrexia. All will be one stuff to look at, so that's pretty much going to be the whole show this week. We just finished watching the announcement video from Wizards of the Coast, where they went over a ton of information as it pertains to the set coming in February, where we're going to see the beginning of the end of this Dominaria storyline. And there's a ton to go over, so let's get into it. We'll go through it pretty quick, and then we'll take a closer look at some of the things that uh, they showed up as it pertains to, like, game pieces and stuff. So, some of the key art obviously shows Elish Norn in a very holy kind of facade. Um, they also revealed this set of ten planeswalkers, and they mentioned on the stream that five of them may not be what you think they are so the twitter world is a buzz with five of these planeswalkers will be completed by the end of phyrexia all will be one um and it's you know up to us to decide who that's going to be my vote is for two planeswalkers that people adore and three planeswalkers that seem like they could be bad guys um i think jace could be on the chopping block i think uh tyvar is definitely on the menu i think koth because he's kind of got a little bit of a low uh, investment rate i think um do i think either of the kamigawa planeswalkers will be completed maybe i think it would be very poignant for the emperor to get play or completed by the Phyrexians, um, but, but let me know in the comments below what you think about these 10 Planeswalkers, which five of them are actually enemies in disguise. Let me know below. Also, I apologize for any audio issues. I'm trying to figure out this little bit of a audio whine with the microphone. So if you have any tips on how to reduce that, I haven't really changed anything in my setup except for the cable I'm using on my microphone. Um, so I'm not sure what could be causing this new found uh, whine all of a sudden. Uh, we've got some Mirrodin stuff. We've got a few cards that have been uh, shown up. Really, we're talking today about like treatments. Here's Elish Norn, Mother of Machines, with the full Phyrexian treatment. Um, you know, we've got a return of Slovad, who's been Phyrexianized. This really cool key art for Venzer, Corpse Puppet. Uh, we've got some look at extended art. And then we've got basic lands. These are the non full art, these are just the basic, basic lands. Uh, we've got set symbols, we've got set logos, which is really cool. And here's some important dates. So world building begins the second week of January. Uh, the story will kick off at the same time. And then the set debut and previews begin on the 17th. Card previews run until the 25th. Uh, commander previews and deck lists will drop on the 18th. Card image gallery will be completed on January 26th. Pre-release with Loading Ready Run. Thank you for continuing to support Loading Ready Run. Uh, they're local here to the west coast of Canada, and I feel very proud to have a, a group of people who are that close to me and and that close to you know my community to that are propped up at one of the highest levels by Wizards of the Coast. Um, so we've got in-store pre-release events February 3rd, Magic Arena and MTGO a digital release on the 7th, and then we've got the full tabletop release on February 10th, plus a few large events following shortly. Then we've got a quick look at the products. These are the draft booster arts, this beautiful Elish Norn art. Uh, we've got set boosters, again, that kind of deity-like, holy dark holy energy coming from this art and then we've got the cool alt art and shiny packaging for the collector's boosters we've got the bundle we've got the jumpstart boosters they revealed that the two commander decks that are coming in phyrexia all will be one are uh white red rebellion rising and white black green corrupting influence 
Uh, and then lastly, for the products, they've got the Complete Edition bundle, which is kind of like the Gift Edition plus some. Um, the Complete Edition will come with these new text or what are they called oil slick raised basic foils these are absolutely stunning probably one of the coolest pieces of full art lands that you're ever gonna see um these are gonna go for a hot dollar uh when they launch and they might actually replace my midnight hunt and crimson bow full art midnight lands because those are black and white and stunning these are extra stunning also some of the legendary creatures will also be getting the oil slick raised foil treatment this is an exclusive treatment that's only in phyrexia all will be one and it's got this oily um kind of chroma slick to it uh pre-release kits look like that and then so you've got some boosters um some extra fun things for those who partake in the pre-release event and then a first look at booster fun so these are some of the things you can open in the boosters these are the normal non-oil slick versions of the full art basic lands these are absolutely stunning uh very depressing and then we've got the phyrexian phyrexianized full art lands and these are ridiculous these are so gorgeous these remind me of the kaldheim lands i think that's what they were going for they probably gave the artists um the kaldheim lands as reference because there's so much going on there's so many little tiny details and you know wizards has to know that those kaldheim lands are some uh favorites among magic players so these are gorgeous. Let me know what you think about these full art lands, both these ones and the um, oil slick raised foil versions. Let me know which one's your favorite. Uh, I can't wait to get my hands on these. I hope the oil slick ones look as good in person as they do in imagery and video. Uh, then we've got some borderless manga style art for all of the legendary creatures, the planeswalkers, uh, all the Phyrexians. Uh, these are special treatments that are going to be strewn throughout all of the boosters. And then we've got this really cool, kind of minimal um, version, these concept freighters. So all five of the massive, famous uh, Phyrexian freighters, you're gonna get alt art versions uh, of those released in this set and the cool thing is they all have the same set symbol that they came with so you can have a chance to open some of these in the normal boosters and then we've got borderless icker art which is kind of this like negative film on fire art treatment it looks amazing uh here's a few examples here slow bad phyrexian obliterator and elish norn and, and then these are all of the different variants side by side. So you've got the um, complete edition Phyrexian language uh, alt art. You've got the borderless manga alt art. You've got the complete foil borderless icker art. And then you've got the, boil, the foil borderless concept prater art as well. And, and yeah, these look amazing. And then they're also releasing the Street Fighter variants of Universes Within. So they're taking all of the cool Street Fighter cards and making magic versions of them. And, and that is it. There was a ton that they announced today. Um, there's this nice little trailer here. Let me pause this music. I don't know if there's actually audio on this thing, but uh, let's take a look. Nice little teaser trailer uh, there from Wizards of the Coast. That is so cool. Um, looks dope. Uh, here's another look at the um, foil treatments. So these are the 10 Planeswalkers again. Then we've got the 
comic or the manga style art versions of all 10 of these planeswalkers like we mentioned earlier uh the basic lands we went over that already the extra cool basic lands the foil foil and then the little trailer so that's that's about it for this episode there's a ton of cool visual information to uh indulge in and sop up while we wait until the end of january early february to get our hands on these cards uh let me know what you think about the basic lands let me know what you think about all of the treatments uh for all of this art in the comments below a lot of the people that are watching these videos still aren't subscribed and that's really the only number we care about right now we're trying to get access to some more youtube creator tools so if you're not subscribed it would mean a lot to me uh and to us here if you would hit the subscribe button you don't have to hit the bell uh we're not going to bug you to comment and like on everything I only ever ask for comments when I actually want to hear your opinions, start a discourse about something. Otherwise, we're just trying to grow those subscriber numbers and get to a place where we have access to better tools and plenty of people who watch these videos aren't subscribed yet. So it would mean a lot to me if you would. Um, yeah, send a comment to us uh, on this video and let me know what you think of the new Phyrexia all will be one uh, art and cards that they've revealed. So the last set was called Bro. This set is called One. And then the next set after that is March of the Machines, which they're calling Mom. So it's Bro, One, Mom, all in a row. And I love it. I absolutely love it. Again, thank you for watching these. I love making them and I will continue to do so until someone legitimately tries to stop me. Um, yeah, may all of your hands be keeps and may all of your opponents mulligan. I will catch you guys next week. Peace out and thank you so much. Be kind to yourself and to the rest of the world. Just be kind in general. Put kindness out there. I love you. Bye.